if id is odd then we need to check two cases firstly hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully created questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are already done with the select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping as well as advanced linkedin joins we are currently working on the subqueries and we'll be moving to advanced string functions rejection clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called exchange seats and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 30th video of this series called exchange seats and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so amazon and bloomberg a number of times so let's see what the question has to say we are given a table called seat with two different columns id which is an integer data type and student which is a variable character id is the primary key that is unique value column for this table each row of this table indicates the name and id of a student id is also a continuous increment we are asked to write a solution to swap the seat id of every two consecutive students if the number of students is odd the id of the last student is not swapped return the result table ordered by id in ascending order okay so let's go through this example and see what do we need in our output so here we have odd number of students in the seat table along with their ids and their names okay now we need to swap for every two consecutive so for example id equal to one and two needs to be swapped so abbott's new id becomes two and doris's becomes one similarly for emerson it becomes four green it becomes three and for james since this there are odd number of people so it remains five and that is what we have in our output let us switch to excel and try to develop a logic on how we can solve this question so here this is the seats table or the seat table right and these these are the information that we already have now what we need is we need to swap the ids so for example for doris it should become one and for abbott it should become two similarly for emerson it should become four and for green it should become three and since this there are odd number of students in this particular table so this is the last one and therefore it should remain five so here the logic is that if your seat id is an even number you need to decrease it by one no matter what the case even if there are odd number of students in this seat table still if your id is even then you need to decrease it by one so if id is even then decrease by decrease by one okay now this is the first condition that we need to keep in mind secondly if your id is odd then two things can arise either it is the last value in which case it should be kept as it is if not then you need to plus one so if id is odd then we need to check two cases firstly if id equal to maximum value then you need to keep as it is if not then you need to plus one okay so let's try to code this using my sql so what i am doing is from this table from this table called seat from this table called seat let me keep both the columns select star and then create a new column which has the new seat id now we can since there are different cases so we can use the case when statements so case when firstly we need to do is that if you check for if the id is even then you decrease it by one so case when id modular 2 is equal to 0 that means if you divide it by 2 and a remainder is 0 then you simply subtract 1 from it now when your we need to also check when your id is odd now to do that you can do id modular 2 so when you divide it by 2 if the remainder is 1 this means that it is odd but in odd you have two conditions firstly and if your id is equal to the maximum value in this seat table because if it is equal to that that means there are odd number of students in the seat table so here you can write the subquery you can get okay return the maximum of id column from the seat table so if both of these conditions are satisfied id is odd and id is equal to the maximum then you just keep the id as it is because it is a case of this one right five else 
द ओनली कंडीशन रिमेनिंग इज इट इज एन ऑर्ड एंड इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू द मैक्सिम पार्ट इन दैट केस यू जस्ट सिंपली सम वन राइट सो आई डी प्लस वन ओके सो नाउ एंड लेट मी गो अहेड एंड सिंस वी स्टार्टेड अर केस वन स्टेटमेंट वी नीड टू एंड इट एंड लेट्स ई लेस दिस एज लेट से न्यू आई डी एंड लेट मी गो अहेड एंड रन दिस लेट सी वॉट डू वी हैव इन आर आउटपुट okay not yet complete but if you look at it now we have the desired result so for abbot it was 1 is now changed to 2 for darius it was 2 now changed to 1 similarly for emerson and green and for james which was 5 and odd number of students so it was kept 5 so now what we need is we need the new id and the student if you look at in our output new id and that should be aliased as id as well so what we can do is we can instead of keeping all the columns what we can do is whatever column that we created we can rename it as id and then we also need to keep the student column after this and then we need to order this by id in ascending order so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and write order by the id column that we created and not the original one let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it yes somewhat medium difficulty but what we had to do was we need to check the id column to see if the it is odd or even because if it is even then you need to just subtract one but if it is odd then you need to check for another condition whether there are odd number of students in the seat table if yes then you keep the biggest odd number id equal to the same value if not then you just simply add one so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video